The biggest problem the British had in the African desert during their time they were fighting Rommel back in 1940-41-42 was the fact that Germans used combined arms technique with radio communications and improved field phones to coordinate tanks, anti-tank guns, field artillery, and infantry all into combined battle groups or comp groups. The British still adhere to the old cavalry school that tanks fight tanks and make a cavalry type charge. This led them into disaster. Artillery supports infantry. Infantry and artillery do not work with the tanks. That was a big problem. The Germans mixed all three arms together and just rolled over everybody. The medium tank M3 Lee and the medium tank M3 Grant, which I refer to as the M3A1 to keep from confusing the two, could have been put to good use from a hold down position if they could get into that position with one of the crewmen ran out forward of the tank with either a field phone or a hand radio to call in indirect fire missions for the 75, which had a considerably longer range than what some people would think. They could crank it up to an elevation of plus 60, if I recall correctly, and their high explosive rounds could be fitted with a contact detonator or a time detonator so that you could get either a surface burst, which is the ones you see in the movies all the time where it's throwing up all the dirt, or an air burst, uh, which would throw, actually be better because it would throw its shrapnel down towards the ground and into the crewman standing behind the shield of, say, a German Pac-38 5cm and a tank gun like what's pictured here. This method could have been used to suppress uh, Pac-38s, Pac-41s, Flak-88s, and various other field artillery pieces the Germans were using. 